guys, what's up? This is Red Light Productions, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to use composite modes in Sony Vegas 13. So let's get started. So we're going to open up Sony Vegas 13, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be compositing text over images. So to start off with, let's insert some video tracks. So we're going to want to right click on the timeline and insert video track by left clicking. And then we're going to right click again and insert another video track. So once we've done this, let's go to the start of the timeline and we're going to have to insert some text on the top. So simply go right click, insert text media, and then insert the sort of text that you want into your video. However, for this video, I've actually got some pre-planned text ready to go. So I'm going to insert it in, and you'll see that the text on my screen covers up pretty much the whole screen. I'm doing this basically because the text looks really good when it's composited over the whole screen. So next, let's put an image on the bottom. I'm going to use this image here. And what you'll find is that the text pretty much masks the image underneath. When we want the image to be shown through. So how do we do this? This is where compositing comes into it. So to composite, it's actually really easy. You'll find this small little green box over here. And if you hover over it for long enough, it'll say compositing mode. So we're going to click on this and we're going to change the composite mode of the track. So you'll find there's a lot of different composite modes out there. There's things like add, which won't really change much on a white text. You've got screen, which doesn't do much either. Darken will change it quite a bit. And burn will give it, and dodge and both burn, will both give a gritty sort of feel to the text. Multiply is another good one as well, as you'll see up here. This one here does pretty much the same thing to darken. And then we also have difference and difference squared, which just gives, gives us a more stronger version of difference, as you can see here. So there's a lot of different ones you can play with. I like darken for this kind of thing, and we're going to stick with this. But let's say further down the track, we want to have um, text that doesn't actually go over the image the same way. We want to be able to read the text and not have it masked in this kind of way. How do we do that? So let's press Control and let's bring it further down the timeline. Hit OK. And then let's do the same thing to the image. So we'll see if it still does that effect further down the timeline. And what you'll find is that it does. So how do we, do, how do we get rid of this and make the text back to normal? without affecting this layer. Basically, how compositing works is that whatever track you have the composite layer on, it affects all other tracks underneath it. So what you're going to want to do is put it, bring this text up to another layer and the image also up to a layer above this track. So we're going to right click and insert video track, move down, right click and insert another video track, bring the text up, and then we're going to want to bring the image up as well. And what you'll find is that we've now completely restored the normal text layer to the normal composite mode. And the image also looks completely normal. If we were to bring the image underneath, for example, you'll find that it actually messes it up because it's now below that composite layer. So you want to have all images that you don't want to be affected by this composite layer above that track. So this is just a quick and easy tutorial on how to use compositing modes in Sony Vegas 13. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.